It is up to you to be happy after retirement. Retirement is the perfect time to become the person you would like to be and do the things you have always wanted to do. Doing everything you have always wanted to do sounds great, but it won't happen by itself, however. This is true even if you have excellent health and a big pile of money in the bank when you retire. Planning is important. You must take steps to ensure that when the bell rings to announce your retirement, you're ready for what's in front of you. The time available for marital, personal, social, creative, and family activities expands considerably when the hours previously taken up with full, time employment cease. How you manage time is just as important as when you are in the workforce. When a man retires and time is no longer a matter of urgent importance, his colleagues generally present him with a watch. Tilda R. C. Sheriff. You won't find genuine joy and satisfaction by spending all your time sleeping, relaxing, loafing, and watching TV, hoping to live up to the ideal of a true idler. Many retired people with nothing to do wind up depressed and hating retirement. To retire happily, it is also important that you have goals and dreams. Retirement can be a time for life's best moments, provided that you take the time to plan what you are going to do with the rest of your life. Just as important, you must be motivated enough to follow your dreams, and change course if adversity intrudes to put a dent in your plans. Retirement is the last opportunity for individuals to reinvent themselves, let go of the past, and find peace and happiness within. Many people discover much to their surprise that retirement life following four or five decades of full, time work is full of new and exciting opportunities. To retire happy, wild, and free, you must stay active. There is no shortage of scholarly evidence that financial status constitutes only a small piece of the puzzle as to whether people will succeed and be happy in retirement. Apparently, most retirement planners either are not aware of this evidence or focus only on the financial so that they can sell more financially related products. This is where how to retire happy, wild, and free comes into the picture. For the most part, this book offers retirement wisdom that you won't receive from your financial advisor. Did you know? Contrary to popular wisdom, many elements, not just having a million or two in the bank, contribute to happiness and satisfaction for today's retirees. Indeed, physical well-being, mental well-being, and solid social support play bigger roles than financial status for most retirees. Be thankful for retirement and plan for it. Retirement can be both exciting and demanding, bringing new challenges, new experiences, and new uncertainties. Regardless of how it turns out, retirement normally turns out far different from what people first envision. For some, it is a big disappointment, and for others, retirement becomes an opportunity to live life like never before. No matter how talented you are and how successful you are in the workplace, there is some danger that you will not be as happy and satisfied as you hope to be in retirement. This may be the case even if you have friends to spend time with, reside where you want to live, and have many interesting things to do. To fear retirement is to fear life, do not fear. A happy, wild, and free retirement is based not only on a healthy relationship with money and our financial resources, but also on our friends, our community, our family, our life's purpose, our leisure activities, and our dreams. Above all, happy retirement is based on a healthy relationship with ourselves. Don't retire, rewire. Tilda Ernie J. Zielinski. Some benefits that you get to enjoy once you retire are You can get up when you want to, where you live doesn't have to be dictated by your employment, you can put more time into creative pursuits, you have the time to do all the things you always wanted to do but never had time for. To not plan for an active retirement is to set yourself up for a difficult one. For many people, retirement is something that is coming sometime in the future, but they don't necessarily feel that it is imminent. The desire or need to retire, however, comes a lot sooner than most people expect. For some, retirement is forced upon them. The quality of your retirement life will be immensely improved if you give it a great deal of serious consideration. As you plan, you should include your spouse in your plan. You should also decide if you will be going into full, time retirement where you totally stop working or semi, retirement. The best time to start thinking about your retirement is before your boss does. Tilde unknown. Failing to plan financially may result in you spending most of your retirement days thinking about all the fulfilling activities you aren't able to pursue due to a lack of funds. Workers should start planning their retirement interests and activities several years before they actually retire. Did you know? Excessive worry about retirement can shorten your life expectancy.
Retirement is an opportunity for self-discovery. You become much more than you have ever been being retired gives you the freedom to do what you want when you want and with whom you want. Part of handling all this freedom is your ability to be creative and to become a highly independent person. You must have interests and purposes that are your own. To retire happy, wild and free, you must stay active with goals and dreams. Soul, searching is one of the keys to retiring happy, wild, and free. Retirement forces you to rethink who you are, what your interests are, and what your priorities are. More leisure time is an important aspect of quality of life, but so are freedom, creative pursuits, fun jobs, and enhanced health from leaving a stressful job for good. Retirement can provide you with a higher quality of life. Retirement gives you the freedom to find your real self. It provides many opportunities for a new lease on life. The longer you work, the more money you'll have for retirement. But the longer you work, the less time you'll have to enjoy that retirement. Tilda the Wall Street Journal people who allow themselves to focus on leisure, end up feeling worthy and no longer need to vigorously pursue extrinsic goals. Some benefits of learning how to enjoy plenty of leisure time to the fullest include spontaneity, opportunity for personal growth, more time and opportunity to develop friendships outside the workplace, improved health, higher self-esteem can be developed from pursuing fulfilling creative pursuits. People also experience less stress and a more relaxed lifestyle. They intoxicate themselves with work, so they won't see how they really are. Tilda Aldous Huxley as Plato and Socrates pointed out, work is often an escape from freedom. Work, for the uncreative, is an easy and acceptable way to fill in a good portion of their lives, which they couldn't do on their own. One of the great advantages of retirement is that you are free of the pressures you had to face at work. You don't have to accomplish as many things as possible to impress the boss and achieve a higher raise. Your true self is based on more profound things, such as your creativity, kindness, passionate pursuits, generosity, love, joy, spontaneity, connectedness to others, sense of humor, peace of mind, inner happiness, and spirituality. A new and healthy identity based on these traits will make retirement a joy to experience, did you know? Retirement is when you stop living at work and begin working at living. There are many fun things to do after retirement, be creative. Making the most out of retirement entails taking advantage of increased freedom to establish a lifestyle that is adventurous, exciting, and rewarding. The time available for extracurricular activities expands greatly when the long hours are previously taken up with full-time employment cease. Millions long for immortality who don't know what to do on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Tilda Susan Ertz. Your retirement reward should be a life that is at least as exciting and interesting as your work life was. You, as a creative individual, can pursue exciting leisure activities. You must keep reminding yourself that retirement can be a series of adventures and beautiful discoveries because deep down, you are a creative person and not a boring one. Plant a get a life tree, watch it grow and use it to get fresh ideas for your retirement activities. Many retirees don't know what to do with their time. Whereas, the world of retirement is overflowing with opportunity. Whether you are already retired or soon. To be retired, now is the time to plant your get a life tree in order that you have a busy and fulfilling retirement. The get a life tree is simple but powerful. It is a creative approach that allows us to generate a substantial number of choices of activities that we may want to pursue after retirement. If you expand your get a life tree to five or six pages, you will be in a position to choose from a vast number of different retirement activities. If you have any zest for living, you should be able to record enough activities to keep you busy, not just for five years, but for a lifetime. Some examples of activities you can add to your get a life tree include spend a lot more time with your grandchildren, go to a baseball game on a Wednesday afternoon, teach English as a second language, stay up late to watch the Northern Lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, phone an old boyfriend or girlfriend just for fun and so on. There is a very easy way to return from a casino with a small fortune. Go there with a large one. Tilda Jack Yelton. Rest is good, but boredom is its brother. Retirees if not determined to participate in fun activities, may find themselves becoming bored. Wondrous things happen with surprising frequency when we learn how to be more spontaneous. Did you know? When you study happy retirees, you will notice active individuals undertake challenging pursuits that provide a good measure of satisfaction. Take care of your health. You need good health to enjoy retirement. Although some retirees who retire with poor physical health but great mental health can still experience a good measure of happiness, it doesn't come easily. Staying physically and mentally active is the easiest way to retire happy, wild, and free. The degree to which we maintain our mental and physical fitness, before and after retirement, will largely determine how fulfilling our retirement years will turn out. Maintaining great health is important so has to avoid becoming dependent. If you aren't retired yet, adopting a healthy lifestyle is something you should have done long ago. This improves your chances of reaching retirement and enhances your ability to enjoy retirement once you get there. If you are still working, do everything within your power to have good health now so that you can still enjoy it in retirement. The key to staying healthy is to engage in constructive leisure activities. Exercise well, avoid obesity, overeating, and eating the wrong foods. In the long term, physical activity contributes to robust health, long life, physical attractiveness, and happiness. You may be a redneck if you have spent more on your pickup truck than on your education. Tilda Jeff Foxworthy. Learning is life. Keep learning as you retire.
committing yourself to be a lifelong learner will go a long way toward making your world enthralling until the day you die. Also, when you commit yourself to be an ageless learner, your life will never be without purpose. Take a joy course for lifelong learning, self-development, and personal growth. It is called a joy course because the student learns enjoyable material without the stress and pressure of writing exams. Also, those who take these courses don't have to prepare assignments or write papers. Working on a university degree and experiencing a sense of belonging with younger people by going back to college can give retired people a sense of accomplishment and pride. Anyone who stops learning is old, anyone who keeps learning is young. Retired people can also engage in Rhodes Scholars International programs. Two or three, week stays at colleges and campuses can be arranged in several countries such as Australia, New Zealand, Britain, and Italy. The courses in the international program are usually related to the particular country's culture, history, economy, and politics. Did you know? According to the AOL Roper Starch study, active online senior Americans are averaging more than 20 hours a week on the internet. An overwhelming number of wired seniors, 93%, feel that the internet has improved their lives overall. Moreover, 63% say the internet has brought their families closer together. Good friends make you happy after retirement. Most retirees usually miss their friends and interactions at work. Social interactions, even when somewhat superficial, makes life more enjoyable for most of us. For most retirees, making and maintaining great friendships are keys to creating a new sense of community that translates into social, emotional, and physical well-being. If I don't have friends, I ain't nothing. Tilda Billy Holiday. Several research studies conclude that people who have intimate relationships with others live happier, healthier, and longer. On the other hand, lonely people who have few or no friends stand a higher chance of becoming ill and dying an early death. Happy and healthy retirees not only have a number of quality friendships when they retire, but they are also good at making new friends after retirement. Try to make friends with warm, kind, and open people. Particularly, try to have close relationships with individuals younger than you. They will influence you to renew your energy and have a fresh outlook on life. While older friends will help you grow old gracefully, young ones will help you think young and stay young. Keep active and enjoy. Good friends, good books and a sleepy conscience. This is the ideal life. Tilda Mark Twain. Travel can enhance your retirement significantly since it provides an elevated degree of stimulation, freshness, and pleasure not encountered in your everyday routine and environment. Of course, travel is a great teacher. Regardless of where you go, you can always learn something new. Retirees, particularly those in better physical and financial shape, can get unusual and adventurous fun from trips that will enrich their life. They say travel broadens the mind, but you must have the mind. Tilda G.K. Chesterton. You don't necessarily have to stay home just because friends and relatives can't go with you on a journey that you would like to make. If you feel lonely and uncomfortable traveling alone, there is an alternative. One way to find a traveling companion is to use the travel mate service at Seniors Match. All members are over 50 years of age, with the majority being retired or soon to be retired professionals. Another option is Trav Buddy, an established travel matchmaking organization that has over 1.6 million members. Did you know? A study titled It's My Turn Now, conducted by the Simon Fraser Gerontology Research Center in Burnaby, BC, found that the happiest seniors tend to be those who are experiencing community involvement. They belong to an active community of peers found in such places as churches, clubs, or housing communities. To enjoy your retirement, relocate to live where you have always wanted. Many retirees yearn for a change of scenery, new experiences, and a changed set of circumstances. Moving to a new location within your own country is one way to satisfy these yearnings. Retirees also seeking new adventures in a location more interesting and exciting than their present location are also motivated to go travel. Going abroad is another option. Most retirees, however, can't travel for fun because they want to stay close to home, perhaps within 50 miles or less of their former homes. Some do not have the money or opportunity to go abroad. Some want to be closer to a support structure. Nevertheless, traveling is a chance for many retirees to reinvent themselves. Other ways to do so include taking classes, making new friends, traveling to exotic destinations, and establishing new routes. Retirement is not a time to sleep but a time to be happy. Retirement is not a time to sleep, but a time to awaken to the beauty of the world around you and the joy that comes when you cast out all the negative elements that cause confusion and turmoil in your mind and allow serenity to prevail. Wealth is having money, prosperity is enjoying it. Sadly, wealthy people can actually be worse off than poor people. Happiness is not determined by how much you have but by how much you enjoy what you have. Money is only useful when you get rid of it. It is like the odd card in Old Maid. The player who is finally with it has lost. Tilda Evelyn Waugh. Never be discouraged because others have more money or better health than you. You can always make up in creativity what you lack in good fortune. What makes many of us unhappy, to the point of extreme misery, is our unreasonable and false beliefs about how happy others are. We can only live life to the fullest if we avoid envying others. Retiring happy, wild, and free is about attitude. Alter your thoughts and behavior, and you will not only change yourself, but you will also change the world around you.
the more positive energy you put into imagining and creating a happy, wild, and free retirement, the more it will manifest itself in the real world. Life is all around, live it to the fullest. Did you know? There are two basic secrets to successful aging. One is staying active in doing things that we find to be interesting. And the other one is having an intimate relationship with other human beings, so we don't just become a vegetable sitting in front of a flickering TV screen and depending on other people to do things for us that we are fully capable of doing ourselves. Conclusion A successful retirement life requires that you be in control of your mind. The key is to spend significant time regularly evaluating and re-evaluating what success means to you. Find out for yourself what brings joy and contentment to your world. Your inner voice will tell you what will bring you peace of mind. Then do what you have to do to attain it. Retirement life is a game. Happy people are the players, and unhappy people are the spectators. Choose the player. Also, resist the temptation to respond to people who call you selfish for doing your own thing. The surest sign that you are on the right track to a happy, wild, and free retirement is that you have clearly defined success in a way that is different from the definition of any other individual on earth. The rest of your life begins right now. It can be more than it has ever been. Your goal should be to enjoy everything in life that you can. Live life to the fullest, with all your senses. Listen to life, look at it, taste it, and feel it. Try this, make a list of your 10 favorite interests and activities that you would like to pursue in retirement. At the same time, write down how much time you are presently spending on these activities. Leisure consultants and pre-retirement planners state that if you are not spending any time pursuing these activities before retirement, it is unlikely that you will spend much time on these activities after you quit work.